what's up goddess gang today we are back with another video and today i'm so excited walking straight into this video we are going to be unboxing savvy Lynn. at first i thought they were sending me like dip powders and i was like not super excited about it i was like oh it's okay dip powder is always one of those things where it's like yeah dip powder is okay but it could be acrylic powder well, when I started swatching these out, they were really nice. And I'm like, hold on a second. Are these dip powder or are they acrylic powder? And I know some people say, well, they're the same thing. They are the same thing unless they're not. And if they're not, then you will know. But these are actually an acrylic powder. So I am so, so excited. Thank you so much to Savilyn for reaching out. And asking me to review this product you guys so as you can see it says acrylic powder system so it is an acrylic powder <laughs> Okay, guys, so first thoughts instantly were that I really love the fact that they came in like a little tray like this. The only other brand that I have gotten something similar to this from would be Model Ones. And the package is just a little square box and you just slide them in there and it can be hard to get them in there. So the fact that it came with this tray insert was like a godsend. And then aside from that, there's multiple of lighter, nudish colors, like super light pinks. And then there's like lots of vibrant colors, which I really loved that. And by the way, you guys, these are luminous, so they do glow in the dark. So you guys will see a clip a little bit further ahead where you'll see all of the colors in the dark. And they they hold a glow very well a lot of the glow colors they don't hold the actual color for the entire time so they held the glow but not the actual color they end up being like a dim yellowish greenish color which is pretty typical so i'm used to that but this consistency of the product so the whole time i thought it was a dip powder kit and i'm like uh I don't have all the stuff for it or I don't want to pull it out so I'm just going to use monomer but when I and at this point even still right now in the video I'm still thinking it's just dip powder it has not occurred to me that it's actual acrylic powder but what was so nice about it and this is one of the main differences that you'll see between the dip powder and the acrylic powder is it just seems like acrylic powder is mixed much more vigorously than dip powder so it the color is actually solid it doesn't bleed or it doesn't look like oh white on the outside edges and then the actual color on the inside no this formula is like wow i was so impressed and i recently saw that femi beauty had unboxed some product by them recently and she said the same thing that the color was really nice the application you guys i cannot so my temperature inside my house was at 78 during the entire video and you guys that seems impossible with acrylic powder right but you guys are gonna see this is i was very 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 impressed so here's the swatches i did redo them so that i could have all the lighter colors up at the top and then the vibrant ones down at the bottom. I love the names that they picked. I thought they were really cute. And look how solid and beautiful and consistent the color is. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the glow in the dark version as well. You got me saying words in my head. Filling my mind with these images. And it's the way that you look at me. Makes me feel like I can't breathe. Alright you guys, so walking straight into this video, I'm going to be showing you guys two different nail sets today. 
This is basically yet again another one of this or that type moments. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these, but I really liked it because I was able to do two different methods and show you guys like a lot more stuff in one video. So for one hand, we're going to be using our bubblegum gel, the one, two, three, go method by um, Max Estrada, and that will be Enel Couture. So I have some full cover tips, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This is the pink color. The bubblegum gel comes in pink or clear, and I actually have some spoiler alert. I have some clear bubblegum gel that I'm going to be unboxing with you guys soon, and I have more full cover tips. These ones are not by Eno, but um, I think they're like some that I got off of Amazon or something like that. But I love these things. They come in handy. They're the perfect length for like a simple coffin set. So yeah, and then I'm kind of giving it like more or less a supernatural look, trying to keep that free edge at the bottom curved. So you guys will see that. And then the other hand is going to be square. And I have those XXL tips out, and I am going to be using base coat gel for those. So you guys can see I made a little bit of a mess, so I just cleaned it off. Sometimes if you have too much product under there, or if you press it down too quickly, it'll all come out. And you really only need to put it on there ever so gently. So that's all I'm doing. I think I was using a little bit too much product, but this stuff you can use, like, you can actually get it onto your fingers, and it won't get all messy and nasty so you can wipe it off easily which i really really love and can you guys see how fast i'm going in between each finger i'm just throwing it in the lamp to cure for a minute the one downfall that i will say to this product and this method is that the product gets pretty hot when you put it into cure so i'm actually just getting into using my small little flash cure light first and then going into the big lamp once the product has cured a bit with the flashy which is this thing right here and you guys this thing has some power to it so don't sleep on these little lamps they are handy and you guys are going to watch me be able to glue on my tips with base coat gel you can use nail glue if you like it can be easy i don't know why but i always get so happy with my nail glue i don't know the perfect amount it's either always too little or too much and it gets everywhere or i have to do it over again because i don't use enough so i just use base coat gel plus it feels very natural all right and now we're gonna go ahead i'm creating 3d hearts for my nail design I'm not sure if you guys noticed the background, but I was like, these colors kind of look like this background. I don't know why I don't just do like a super cute heart inspired nail set. I love hearts. I'm totally obsessed with hearts. I try to downplay my love for hearts because I don't want people to be like, oh my gosh, she really loves hearts. But I really, really love hearts. So it was a fun little idea. And... I don't know if I'm going to keep saying this every video, but at the end, it did feel like it was another one of those experimental um, nail sets. And yeah, so you guys can see we're going in with the application. I'm so sorry, but I did the shaping of the tips and everything off camera because I knew this video was going to be rather long. Drop a comment down below if you like long videos. If that's something you're into, let me know. And I'll go ahead and create long videos. I have no problem with it. But anyways, this nail set on this hand is going to be long and square. Maybe a little taper square, you know, like a real tight, nice square. And then on the other hand, we have some short ovals. Well, more like medium length ovals. These are rather nice, right? And... At the end result, I would say I was pretty satisfied with how it looked. It was definitely not something that I would have imagined that I would create. And I know I say that a lot. I feel like the longer nails are more of like, okay, I think I did pretty good with those ones. The short ones, I'm still struggling. But I'm going to be showing you guys like how I could have made this design super cute if I had the perfect products. 
um, the bubblegum gel from Enow is going to be super fun to use for other things besides just gluing on my nail tips. Like for instance, um, creating 3D nail art. So I'm going to show you guys that. And you can mix color into it and everything. Like I could take some of this acrylic powder and mix it into my bubblegum gel and create like a heart shape and cure it and there it is. So I'm going to be showing you guys stuff like that which I haven't experimented a lot with, but you know, there's a lot of people that I look like their nails are so amazing and I would totally do what they do if I had the products that they have, but their posts are posted in a different language and I don't always take the time to like read it because when it translates, like if it's in Chinese or something and you translate it, it's like, and then you go to the next person's page and their stuff is in Chinese and it gets really like OMG. So I'm trying to figure out like how I can look for products that I see people use without having to necessarily need the exact one that they have. So anyways, yeah, that's just a little side note. For the design, I also really loved how this product applied. Like, it was a good product to work with you guys i mean i i have to give it the props that it deserves because i wasn't expecting to have such a pleasurable experience and so i was like well i'm gonna test out how good this product is for real and i was like i'm just gonna go ahead and try to ombre these colors the ombres came out pretty nice they surely did and the thing was that the design that I did in the end, the ombre didn't really draw a lot of attention to itself, so it didn't have to be perfect. So I was really happy that this could be like an ombre for beginners type moment. By the way, you guys, I am using my Artistic Sculptor Acrylic Nail Brush by Young Nails. It's absolutely one of my favorites. It's been with me since the very first day I ever did acrylic nails. And that's how much I love it because it's still in really good shape. It's good for if you want to work in smaller beads or maybe if you want, like the bristles are really, they're just, I don't know how to explain it. You have to use one to be able to understand, but yeah, no, it's a very beginner friendly brush, which is why I think it comes in the Young Nails acrylic kits. Like I got the core, the core, the, no, I got the Young Nails speed kit. I got the speed kit and it came with it. And oh my gosh, the best investment ever. Literally hands down, no question at all whatsoever. But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys watch this and see how beautiful this product is. Thank you again so much to Savulent for sending this over to me to try and introduce. You got me saying words in my head.
so now we're gonna start on the other hand and I'm basically just gonna add color to the tip of each nail and then after that I'm gonna go in with the lovely pink and I'm basically gonna ombre it down so that you can kind of see the colored tip under the nudish pinkish color you guys will see it's really nothing dramatic but I was having such a blast with um experimenting with how to create an ombre now because first off i am not really an ombre girl like it's not my specialty but i have had enough experience to know kind of more or less what you can do and what you cannot do like you can work in small watery beads like that would not be horrible if you're a beginner you cannot expect to just go in with the product, lay it any type of way, and then file it down and think that it's going to be considered an ombre. I had to learn my lesson the hard way about that. So I try to make it like, okay, however this looks, this is the finished product. This is the ombre. So when you go into it with that mentality as opposed to, oh, it doesn't matter how it looks, I'm going to file it down anyways. No, you cannot file it down. So you have to focus on your application, which is like half the battle right there. So that makes it way easier. But yeah, that's what we're doing on there. And then you guys are going to see, I'm going to be going in with just some simple gel art and... Then I'm going to be adding my little 3D hearts, nothing fancy. We're going to add some bling to the nails to make them look like a little extra. I kind of just went with it. I have been just kind of experimenting. I don't know what it is, but I kind of try to stray away from just doing the same things I see all the time. Like if I see French tips all the time, or if I see ombre nails, or if I see freestyle sets to have one French tip, one ombre, you know, one bling nail, one 3D art nail, I just try to stay away from stuff like that. And it kind of backs me into a corner where I don't know exactly what to do. So then I end up just creating sets that look like this. <music> you guys so if you thought that all those colors were exciting can we give this little girl a moment she's beautiful it's like the perfect little faint pink and i just love it so much so yeah here you guys are gonna be able to see me try to do my best to ombre with this color and i think this overall base of the nails came out really good i was really proud of myself the best part about this set is the fact that the nails do glow in the dark so at the end you guys are gonna see i didn't actually take video of the glow but i took photos i forgot to take the video of the glow and then i was gonna do it and i was like i just gotta get home today after work and i can do it and one of my nails popped off while I was working and I was like OMG so then I ended up taking them all off because I was so excited to take them off and like kind of let my nails rest or whatever but next time I use this I'm definitely going to get some videos too because you guys this product I really like it and I cannot thank Sam Savulent enough because there's a generous amount of product here um you guys can see like the other set is pretty long it's not super super long but i can get plenty of long sets out of these little canisters um you don't really have to build the color up very much either for there to be a good glow and you guys are going to see that in the photos because on the right hand the index finger and the ring finger I believe those two they kind of had like the glow ombre down into like more or less a clear nail so it was a little see-through and those nails were glowing too you guys with no problem so I was also very impressed by that 
this is definitely a home run as far as an investment goes if you needed some little glow powders to add to your collection and you wanted to have like vibrant colors but you also want to have like a couple of nudish pinkish colors and i would love for you guys to drop some comments down below and let me know what kind of set i should create with this product next I'm thinking that pink, orange, and yellow are like, yes, let's do a set with those colors. But also, I would love to create more sets with the faint colors as well. So let me know what you guys think. I love you guys' ideas. And I am going to be posting a blog post to accompany this video. So you guys can always head over to the blog post and we can discuss stuff there too. If you don't necessarily like to comment on YouTube that's totally fine. I'm excited to um, actually start promoting my blog more and start being more visible on there and really getting into blogging even more than ever before. So here we have our application. I went ahead and filed off camera. So you guys are going to see we're going to go in with our nail art, which I did some hearts. So I want to show you guys how you can use those dotting tools to create super simple, easy hearts. And then I did a whole bunch of line designs and stuff like that. This is all very, 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 very beginner friendly. After that, I'm going to go in with a top coat and I'm also going to add some bling nothing fancy just cute or whatever so i'll be back in just a bit we'll go ahead and reveal the final result <laughs>
Okay, guys, so I definitely need your comments because what do you think? I really love the long ones. If there's anyone who really likes the short ones, I did go off camera and I added like, well, first I tried to add like, I just wanted to add depth to my hearts on the other hand. And I couldn't really do it perfectly without actually going over it over and over and over again, which is what I would normally do, but I did not feel like doing that. So I just put like a blob of glue gel by SXC Cosmetics over those hearts to give them like a 3D look, but it didn't really go out as planned. So you guys may notice that. Um, I'm excited to be using different methods soon and show you guys those because girlfriend. <laughs> But anyways, here we are. We finally got our nails did or whatever. I need you guys to let me know which ones you like the most. Of course, I'm rocking with the long nails on this one, you guys. And there are kind of more or less two different styles because I had the 3D hearts on the right hand. Then I didn't do as much nail art. And then on the left hand, it's all nail art with no 3D hearts. So that was one big difference too. And at the end, I will show you guys the glow in the dark result. And you guys are probably going to flip out. But anyways, if you haven't already and you do like this video, please be sure to drop me a like on your way out. And if you're not subscribed, feel more than free to go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you can be notified when I post. My blog is scorpiongoddessnails.blog if you would like to go over there. I'm going to be uploading posts up there more and just totally getting into that stuff. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and always being here. And I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in a new video. And I heard through the grapevine that somewhere on my channel, there might be daily uploads. We'll have to see. I love you guys. Ahala. Peace.